great piece of sportsmanship. Aaron Hunt was the fair play hero last season, and now we've got the top 10 fair play moments for you throughout Bundesliga history. First up is Japanese midfielder Hiroshi Kiyotake from last season. Nuremberg, who are fighting relegation, they spared a Bremen at home. The little magician plucked up the guts to correct the referee on his decision, resulting in a Bremen goal kick instead of a corner. This great demonstration of fair play was topped in the same game. More on that later. This was the comeback of the year in 1999. Carsten Air Berlon was set to return to Bundesliga action after two and a half years out injured, but subbing him on wasn't all that easy. While leading 5-1 against MSV Duisburg, Hamburg's Nico Kovac wanted to make the change possible by putting the ball into touch, but he wasn't able to. The HSV fans became restless. Behron was still waiting to come on, but the opponents intervened. A great gesture of fair play from Duisburg defender Torsten Vollert saw him put the ball out on purpose, much to the delight of the Hamburg fans who got to see Behron in action for 10 minutes. Oka Nikolov, the Eintracht Frankfurt old hand, is another of our fair play heroes. He was in goal for Eintracht for 21 years and showed his great sportsmanship in January 2010 against Bremen. He admitted getting something onto Torsten Frings' long range shot in the 68th minute. Thanks to his honesty, a corner was awarded to Bremen, who were 1 0 down. A picture for eternity. Rudy Fuller consoles Andy Bremer. But what's the reason behind it? The relegation battle in 1995-96 and Leverkusen's Marcus Munch makes it one all shortly before the end, causing wild celebrations. It meant Bayern or Fear were safe and Kaiserslautern were relegated. The despair sets in. A win would have been enough for Kaiserslautern to survive. Most of the Leverkusen team are enjoying the moment. But hidden away, striker Rudy Fuller goes to his distraught World Cup winning teammate Andreas Bremer to give him a shoulder to cry on. Match day 32 of the 1987-88 season. Werder Bremen are already confirmed as champions and are playing Esther FC Köln. Köln were leading 1-0 when this happened. Referee Manfred Neuner decides to give Köln a corner. After lengthy discussions, Bremen's Frank Ordenovic shows great sportsmanship and admits to handling the ball. The resulting penalty was converted by world champion Pierre Litbarski to secure a 2-0 win. World champion Miroslav Klose gets on our list thanks to his fair play moment in the 2004-05 season. During a game against Armenia Bielefeld, referee Herbert Fandel awarded a penalty to Bremen and gave Bielefeld keeper Matthias Hein a yellow card. Even in this replay, it's hard to tell if it's a foul or not. Vandal has a talk with his assistant and calls over Miro Closer. Even though it's nil-nil, Closer admits that he wasn't fouled. Great sportsmanship from him, and this wasn't an isolated case. While playing for Lazio against Napoli in 2012, he confessed to scoring a goal with the use of his hand. Sometimes it takes a while before you're right. This highlight comes from the 2011-2012 season with a match between FC St. Pauli and Union Berlin in Bundesliga 2. Ten minutes from time, St. Pauli's Marius Ebers scores to make it 2-1, an important goal in the relegation battle. Celebrations all round, with Ebers joining in too. But then, a moment of realisation. He admits playing the ball with his hand and the goal was scratched off. St. Pauli went on to score in added time and win the game 2-1 but it only helped them to a fourth place finish at the end of the season. We promised we'd return to that Nuremberg Bremen game last season and here we are with yet more fair play. Bremen were leading 2-0 when this happened in the area. Referee Manuel Grafer says penalty, but then... Well now there's a great piece of sportsmanship. Hunt said, no, it wasn't a penalty. Hats off to Aaron Hunt. His Nuremberg opponents certainly appreciated the gesture. Arne Larsen Erkland. Not just a European deep sea fishing champion, but also a great sportsman. Thanks to this display of fair play during Leverkusen's 3 0 win against Bayern in the 1980 81 season, the Norwegian scored a hat trick in the first half 
but had a different type of brilliance in mind for the second 45. It looks like he's made it 4-0, but it turns out it was a phantom goal. Long discussions followed with referee Udo Horreis, and Erkland explains that the ball didn't in fact go in, but rather it hit the side netting. His gesture wasn't just appreciated by the referee, FIFA also gave him the Fair Play Award. Reuter Furt's Florian Trinks was the Bundesliga 2 Fair Play hero last season. During a game against Sandhausen, the third striker netted this goal with the score at one all. Something's not right though, you can tell by the celebration. Trinks admitted that he in fact touched the ball with his hand and the goal was rescinded. His fair play was rewarded though with a 3-1 win for Furt in the end. <laughs>